Bessie the cat has just crept up behind me. As you can see, he's there. He's just been causing mayhem and jumping around on the window ledge and then jumping off things and chasing Rufus. But I think he's going to have a little sleep now. Rufus the dog is sleeping next to me. So if you can hear from some snuffles, it's Rufus. He's just lying here having a snooze. So hello, my name is Kate. I hope you've had a good week. Happy Friday if you're watching it on a Friday. So I hope you're all right. I've got lots of things to show you. So lots of thrifted items for our wedding, which is this summer. Me and Lee are getting married in our garden. I'm trying to do everything secondhand as much as I can um, for all the decorations and things. So I've got a few bits to show you. It's mostly from charity shops and I've got one thing from a car boot sale and a little box of items that I actually got off Facebook market page. So everything's been thrifted, everything's secondhand, and I'm gonna show you now. And including, and, I mean, including my mug, not and including. This, um, I always do a mug of the day, just in case you're, you've are you come to watch this for the first time. Hello and welcome. Uh, I always do a mug of the day, because I do like my mugs. If you watch my video, you'll, you'll know that anyway. So I got this one recently. This was from Facebook Marketplace. I always call it page, but it's Facebook Marketplace. So I should stop looking on there, because it, it is dangerous. Um, yeah, so this was £2.50. It's a Kath Kidston mug and I got a set of four. I'll link that vlog in the description I found. I show all the different um, Kath Kidston mugs I got and they are lovely. So if you like mugs or Kath Kidston, just feel free to watch that vlog. There's also some other charity shop bargains and a car boot sale haul too. So if you like these kind of thrifted videos, that one will be in the description ready for you to watch. Um, but yes, this is my lovely Kath Kidston mug with birds on it and I've got a coffee. So this is my mug of the day. Right, I'm going to put that down there because... Um, it's actually gone cold so I'm not going to drink any but it, there is a coffee in there but I just had a bit and it was freezing and, and I haven't got time to go and get a new one I'll get one after right so I'm going to start off with this and it was only 50p so these are just various different decorations so when we come around to decorating we're going to have a marquee so we're going to put things in the marquee and hang things from trees and there's lots to do and I've found lots of things but hopefully it'll all come together when we set it up so this is just a little picture frame and it was 50p, I can't remember where it was from, um, just a charity shop, obviously. And I just thought that would be perfect for the wedding, so I'll put a picture of me and Lee in there. Or I could always, if I wanted to, ideas, paint, um, get some blackboard paint and paint like the heart underneath and write something. But I'll probably do a little picture, just a wooden frame with a heart in the middle and it's sort of tied up with rope. So I thought it was really good for 50p. So that's, I'll just put it over there, not with Rufus, Rufus is here. I'll show you Rufus at the end. Oh, busy having a little snooze. Um, oh, this is quite a good thing. I don't know where this is from originally. Oh, actually I do. It says Hamburg in Germany. And this was only a pound. I think that was from Sue Ryder. And it's basically lots of different stickers that I can stick on things, obviously, um, like jars or anything. And then write with, I've got a chalk pen there. So I could put something on a jam jar and write little things on it. So I thought that might be handy. It was only a pound. And if not, I can use it as a labeler for other things and like organizational. Oh, I could organize my cupboards. I didn't even think of that. And then write on the different things. So I will use that. If it's not for the wedding, I will use that probably to sort out my cupboards and label different things. So I thought that was really good for a pound and the pen is there as well. So that's another thing that I had to show you. I bought some, oh, everything's okay. I've got a glass vase here, so I'm trying to be a bit careful with that. I'll, I'll show you that now, and then that's out of the way. Um, this was a really good buy. This was only £1.50, as you can see there. Hello. Was my face. I always find it funny when you see people's faces in the vases. I can't see because I'm short-sighted, and, and I can't. This isn't, these aren't, this is a glass, but it's not glasses. What am I on about? I don't even know. Um, hello. So hopefully my face looks a bit weird. Anyway, this was £1.50. I can put some flowers in there or I can put a candle in here and just have that dotted around. And I'm just finding lots of different things. Um, everything is kind of different shape, but I think put out all together, it should look really nice, hopefully. It's quite thin, this one, so I've got to look after it. So that was £1.50. I'm gonna place it over there on the, um, on, the, on the bed. I'm on the bed, but you know what I mean? It's just down there, not touching anything. Um, and then I got some lovely flowers. I have bought a lot of flowers from Home Bargain. So if you watch my videos from last year, there is not a small wedding haul. So if you fancy watching them, I'll link some in the description below because I found so many things. And I'm not sure if these are from Home Bargains or not, like originally. I don't know. I think they're small green. So these might not be from Home Bargains. These were £2 and they were from um, Sue Ryder as well. So the stalks are bendy, so you can kind of you know, put them in different places and tie them around things. So that'd be quite good. 
I think I'm going to have a mixture of fake and real flowers, I think. So I bought quite a few artificial flowers, but I think mixed in with baby's breath, you know, that stuff um, with the gyp flowers, the pretty ones people have at weddings. I think it will work, hopefully anyway. So we'll just have a mix. I was going to go just artificial, but I think I'm going to have some real ones as well. I keep thinking about it. So yeah, I, I probably will end up doing that. But £2 for this little bunch of flowers. They're pretty, aren't they? Lovely. So that's those. And then I've got two lanterns. I've managed to find quite a few lanterns, which is good because I'll dot these around. And actually you might have seen this already in the weekend vlog. So I'll link that in the, in the description in case you haven't. This is one of the items and it's just ended up in the wedding box again. Um, it was 50p and it's just a little metal lantern. I'll put a tea light in there and it's got jewels around it. So I thought that was really cute. So a little white metal lantern. So it's all kind of like classic wedding, all of this stuff. It's just white and cream and flowery. And then I've got some rustic things as well to show you. And this I picked up in a charity shop. It's like a mini lantern, so it's smaller than the other one. And it was 50p. Again, it's glass um, around the these bits of glass. And it's a little metal lantern. And there's a tea light in there already. Oh, it comes out on, on the bottom, so I'll just pull the bottom out. Then you put the... Um, you light the tea light in there. It's a really cute little lantern. Sweet, isn't it? I don't know where that's from originally, but yeah, that's lovely. And then I've got a hangy down heart thing. I've got quite a few of these, so I'm gonna hang these from trees or put them, we've got a, like a our brick wall to the left as you walk through to the garden. So these might look quite nice, like hanging like on a clip, oops, on the brick wall. And then with a little tea light in. And this is metal, it's kind of cream, like off-white. And that was one pound, as you can see there. So that was a pound for that one. It's quite big. I quite like those hearts. And I've got a few um, that are kind of enclosed with little holes in. So hopefully the light will come out. And then, out of the holes, I mean, you know, and then it glows, doesn't it, in the evening. And if you watch my charity shop haul from Wednesday, you might recognise this dress because um, I showed it in that haul. And it was from East Coast Hospice and it was five pounds. So it's just a black dress with yellow hearts all over it. And I love it. Um, and if you didn't end up watching that video, I'll link it in the description in case you like charity shop videos and you can see some other things that I found as well. But yeah, I love this dress. I'm going to do a picture in a minute and put it on Instagram. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm Kate McCabe and my house account is Kate's Homely Home and they'll be linked in the description too. Um, so we're having our wedding in our garden, just in case you didn't know that. And we've got lots of lovely garden furniture. I've got um, bright curtain. Cushions. I've got bright cushions and I'm not going to be using them for the wedding because our colours are green, like grass, um, like rusticy, you know, woody colour and peach and white. So they're the kind of colours and um, I'm trying to find some cushions to go on the garden furniture. So I found quite a few white ones and then I bought this the other day as well. It's um, just a plain white cushion, kind of linen-y. It's really soft with um, ribbon around this bit and then like a crochet edging so that's going to be perfect and I'll just dot them around the we've got an l-shaped sofa uh, garden furniture thing and a couple of other things so I think chucking loads of white cushions everywhere is just going to look really nice and this was two pounds from Sue Ryder and the final thing I'm going to show you um is this little box of stuff so this is what I found on Facebook marketplace and I got this I think it was in like November or something and then I was sorting all the wedding stuff out. I thought, well, I haven't actually shown this yet. So this whole little box was a fiver and I didn't barter or anything. I just saw it and thought that'd be really handy. And in here is a reel of, um, what's this called? Hessian with some lace on it. Oh, that was Rufus having a snore just in case you thought, what is that noise? Um, yes, a little reel of Hessian with lace on it. And this would be great to put round if I have any, you know, vases or jars. Or, yeah like little jam jars and things so I've got that and then in here there's lots of different um buntings so I think this is just married I'm not going to open it all up because um it kind of goes over and takes ages to fold up but I think that one says just married so I'll put these I'll dot them about and if I have too many that say just married because I think I bought quite a few I can then probably put a bit of this on instead or do something or maybe just put like a white heart on and stick that on. I'm not sure, but I can know I can use them or I can just like pass them on if I don't end up using them. So this is all a fiver, so it includes that. 
there's some mini bunting with little hearts on and like lace that's Rufus snoring again so yeah really pretty the little white hearts and that's all they've got on them just their little um little white heart rusticy bunting hessian bunting and there's another set there might be a few of these so two sets of those oh no there's three four hang on one two three four so four of those and then there's some larger a larger version of it oh this is really nice so this is bigger than the the mini one and it's kind of the same again so it's just oh there we go i've opened it up little hearts on with cream string that'll look really pretty i love bunting i've also bought a loads of um poundland bunting they had this cardboard bunting and i think it's like six meters or ten meters and i'm going to put that everywhere as well there is two lots oh no there's three so another one of those and the final one i think it's another just married and i do have i definitely have one more of these so i can always put them back to back and hang them up somewhere you know somewhere you walk through maybe so another um hessian bunting saying just married and that is everything so all of that was a fiver which is really good you can find some bargains on facebook so yeah i found quite a lot on there actually lately so all of that for fiver which i think is really good and the little um the little like ribbony one so that is everything in this wedding haul i hope you enjoyed it i didn't have loads to show you actually i thought there'd be more but um I've got to go and find it so I shall be doing lots more videos with showing the wedding things and eventually once we get ready for our wedding I'll show you where it all goes and how it all looks so I promise to film oh, all of that there probably won't be uploaded till after the wedding but um I definitely will film it because I know it will give people ideas and lots of people are doing like secondhand weddings and do-it-yourself type weddings aren't they so yes I shall be filming those but thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video give it a like and if you haven't subscribed then please do and let me know your favourite item in this wedding haul so what did you like the most I think if I had to choose I really like that vase I think it's a brilliant buy but this is obviously excellent for a fiver but I think this kind of thing I think that's really good for £1.50 I'm not sure how much it would be brand new but um, I think that's really good. I love it all. Yeah, so let me know your favourite item. Write them in the comments. And as I said before, my Instagram will be linked in the description along with some other videos. So thanks so much for watching. Have a great weekend. And I will speak to you on Monday with my weekend vlog at six o'clock. And then I've got another charity shop haul for Wednesday. So I'm just going to film that in a minute. So I've got a few already and set up. So that'll be here Wednesday at six. And then I'll have a Poundland video for Friday. So they're the next videos coming up and I will speak to you soon. Bye. And a little goodbye from Rufus as well. Goodbye. <laughs>